All right, MT82. Got inch and three sixteenths. I'll leave that in there. I got something to push against. Take this off and thirty torques, I think. <coughs> this is the skip shift solenoid, I believe is what they call it. Now these detents, they make a tool for it. And I looked up, I was going to buy this stupid thing, but it's $220. So, it looks like I will continue to do the way I've been doing it. And usually they get destroyed, so I just make them buy them. Uh, this is your spring and detent. You can go ahead and get these switches off the outside. Go ahead and get this one before it ends up getting busted. Seven eighths. Thirteen millimeter. Let's see. So we need to push this in. It says to put it into fourth gear. I think it's already in gear. Yeah, it's in some gear. It's first, second, third, fourth. So it says to put it into fourth gear. plug off the front and take our slave cylinder off which the R&R &R guy should have done and should have never come back here with that on there eight millimeter Pull that clip off, pull that off,
why you don't want to let go. Because we're on camera. There we go. There's a seal down in here and a seal right there. We can actually leave that one in there. Uh, the input shaft can stay in the unit. This has to come out. Get you a slide hammer with a deal on it like that. We want to be pretty much in the center. You can drill a hole if you want to. So 12 Allen. Okay. Gotta pull these detents off. And there's really no good way to do it without the tool that I have found. So I normally just knock them out with a screwdriver. You got two up here, one here, two here. here There just ain't no good way to do it. There we go. Now, you just keep doing that for all of them. If you bend them, I just uh, buy them. So instead of wasting all my battery life on trying to do this, because it's going to take a while, I'll be back when I get the rest of them off. Alright, these are E12s. Yeah, E12s. I'm 
12 millimeter Allen's again. And just wobbling all over the place. There it says to use a puller on this thing. I'm going to see if it'll come off without using the puller. And we have to move these dowel pins back anyway. I might go ahead and drive them back. Apparently not. Alright, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get this off of there because I don't have a two jar, jaw puller that big. Unless maybe I can put my CBT pulley one on there. I despise standards. I just cannot stand them. Just, just a pain. And if you don't have all the tools for it, it's just exponentially worse. That's just not going to work. Alright, let me figure out what I'm going to do to get this off of there. Alright, finally got it off. It's a chore. You really need to pull her. Uh, I don't have a puller that big. You have to get two pry bars in there and keep pressure on it. And then I put the uh, nut back on the back back here screwed it all the way in and I took a hammer and I popped that thing out of there. Now the complaint on this thing is pops or grinds going into fourth every time, sometimes sixth. Well, this is my magnet on the thing. It's going to be in lovely shape. And already I can see second gear has not a single tooth on it. And no mention made of second gear problem so i have a feeling this thing is going to be no good all right now i think you have to have a puller to pull this off says that you can pull this shaft out.
Church. come up with some kind of puller to pull all this off. So let me do that and I'll be back. Alright, so I got my CVT pulley tool. I was able to get on here, put the nut on to push against, and I pulled it right off. okay this gear is not the best looking it's got some funky wear patterns on it three piece synchronizers So it says to index this before you take it apart. Let's see, maybe my pocket center punch will work. leaving enough of a mark. I think for the momentary I'm just going to mark it with the marker and uh, have to remember to permanently mark it before I go wash and everything. There's a snap ring here. Hopefully this gear and everything will slide off easily. Well, that popped off. Might as well just pull these out. And it's not going to come off easy anyway. Second gear is destroyed, so I might just try to get to uh, ladies' feet and try to just push that off of there. gear right there is just destroyed and the slider is also so we got to take this off I think it's a six millimeter five And 
Jason out of five. Oh, it's a Torx. Looks like a 30. This is bigger than a 30. It's a 40. There's a wire detent that goes back there, sits in just like so. And there's two washers. One goes on each bolt. And that wire sits on top of those. Thirteen millimeters on the center support. And we got to pull off our bolts that hold our shift work or our shift works. It is supposed to. It's not nothing to do. Get me a bushing driver and drive that out.
All right, all that's left in there is our input shaft. Fifth and sixth gear here. And it is a little messed up. So that's sixth gear right there. So we're gonna need sixth gear, fifth and sixth slider. I just don't see much with third and fourth there. According to the book, this is third and fourth. It's not fantastic. All right. I'm going to have to go and double check and make sure that what I read was right because according to the paperwork and what I see here is two different things so let me figure out what's going on here and we'll make up a parts list alright so I'm going to put bearing seal synchros second gear sixth gear fourth gear one two slider five six slider 3-4 slider, 4 small detents and a large one. 